All right, we're back out here another day. Still working on this uh, little motorized bike project, putting four stroke into the bike. And uh, in the last couple of videos, I got the jack shaft installed. And what I also need to do is I need to come in here. I did make it to the hardware store and I need to put longer bolts uh, down here, sort of on the right side of the engine. You can see there's a hole, uh, hole there and you can't see the other one over there. So, like I said, made it to the hardware store. Got a pair of longer bolts. And if you were wondering, these bolts are M8, they're metric, M8-125. I'm not exactly sure how that usually measures out, um, but these are about an inch and a half long in uh, English uh, inch pound measurement. So anyway, I'll get these put in. Got my little rubber uh, engine mounts. So we'll get those put in and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna work on the chain. And we'll get uh, both the chains installed uh, this evening. So uh, I'm gonna get started uh, putting these uh, bolts and motor mounts in and uh, then do the chain. All right, now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put in my longer bolts here on the right side of the engine. And so the first thing I'm gonna do and I got the, the other two bolts loosened up so the engine just tilts up like this. It's not gonna fall out or anything. So I'll put my little rubber motor mount into place. And this bolt here towards the front of the bike uh, is the most difficult. And I actually gotta run the, the washer up a little bit so that I can really get it all the way through. Otherwise it kind of binds up. Get that out of the way. There we go. Now I'll just get in there with the ratchet. And these bolts, it's a 13 millimeter socket or wrench. Uh, I'm sure some people in Canada or Europe have these memorized, you know, what a eight millimeter bolt takes. But I've got the US uh, English inch pound system memorized. So anyway, I'll come in here and uh, tighten these down and then we'll get started on the chain. All right, so now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna put our new chain on and uh, get it cut to length. And the first one I'm gonna start with is from the jack shaft to the rear drive sprocket. So we'll get it kind of untangled. You see I got my gloves on again. New chains are greasy. I want greasy fingerprints on my camera. So kind of get this unloaded. One thing I did do is blew out the driveway just because I know this chain's gonna be rubbing on the ground a little bit. Uh, so get all the, as much debris and stuff like that off the driveway as I can. When I come in here, I'm gonna, before I put this on for the final time, I will clean this chain up. Uh, grease it, clean it, re-grease it. Okay, so what I like to do is fold the chain over. Let's see if I can get back there. Fold the chain over and I, so I know right there is where I need to uh, remove the pin. Get that pulled out. Keeping my finger on the pin the whole time. thread that and then come in here and bend it and right at that uh, bend there this pin is the one that I need to punch out of there so take it over the table and we'll uh, get that punched out okay so this pin right here on the end 
is the one that I need to remove. And these are kind of a pressed in kind of fit. They've sort of mushroomed the end of it. So what you gotta do to get those out, you can't just use a chain breaker tool. What you gotta do is get in there. I like to use the grinder with a cutoff disc and just come in here and just grind that one side of the pin and then you can push it out. I actually don't have a chain breaker tool here, so I'll show you how I'm gonna do that once I get the uh, pin ground out, or at least the mushroom head off the pin ground off. All right, and as you can see, I got the pin ground out. You wanna be careful and you don't wanna to grind too much into these little link bars. You just wanna grind the head of the pin off. So the next step to do is to actually kinda of pound that little pin out. And I'm gonna use this little, uh, it's actually a nail setting tool, but I'm gonna use it to uh, punch this out and I'm just utilizing this crack in my workbench here to uh, for a place for that pin to fall into so we'll get going on that okay so it took a little bit of time to get that pin out of there and I didn't get to film all of it but what I ended up doing was taking it over to my uh, uh, bench vise, a nice hard surface, the, the little wooden table was giving me too much uh, sort of absorption and so I had to put it on the harder uh, bench vise to get it uh, to really pop out of there. But as you can see I got it out of there and the chain is now the length and I'm going to come in here, put in my master link. These you generally want to put in from the back. There we go, like that. And then your little, uh, little link pin there. And then comes your little keeper. And these are important in the direction that they're installed. And what you want to do is with the opening going the opposite direction of the chain uh, rotation. So the chain is going this way. This is the direction that the chain is pulling. So we're going to install this so that the mouth is going away from that. You just go on like this. Just kind of sit there. I usually like to come in here with a screwdriver. And there we go. We got it installed. And I'll zoom out here and you can see the whole chain line and everything. Grab this. All right, there's a the whole chain line right there. It is a little saggy, but that's what the uh, chain tensioner is for. Just pull up on there like that, put the spring from here to there. You got a nice tight chain that actually has some give to it when you're riding. So, done with that. Now we'll come up here and we'll get going on that chain right there, the one from the clutch to the jack shaft. 